A whole new dimension today to the controversy surrounding the planned purchase of F-35 fighter jets. The Auditor General set off a fiery debate in the House of Commons on Tuesday when he said the cost of the F-35s had been misstated and that Parliament and Canadians had been misled. Today he went even further on the key question of who knew what and when. Terry Malewski starts us off again tonight. Terry. Well, Peter, the F-35 affair was already bad for the government, but it just got dramatically worse. That's because the Auditor General now says that Cabinet Ministers did know that the cost figures they gave to Canadians were false, $10 billion less than the truth. If so, that means the government misled the country for nearly two years. That $25 billion number was, uh, um, was something that at that time I think was known to, uh, to government. The Auditor General left no doubt that by government he meant the executive, the cabinet. Would have been primarily members of, uh, of the executive, yes. That statement is devastating to the government for this reason. Ferguson is talking about an internal government estimate in June of 2010 that it would cost $25 billion to buy and operate a fleet of 65 F-35 jets. But ministers kept quiet about that one month later when they announced the purchase. The $25 billion figure was concealed and stayed concealed eight months later when the parliamentary budget officer Kevin Page gave his estimate. We think the total ownership cost would be a little over $29 billion. His $29 billion wasn't far off the government's 25. But Page was pilloried anyway by the government, which said the real number was less than $15 billion, and stuck to that in the election campaign. How many authoritative reports like this will it take before you will admit that your own estimates are a fantasy? Uh, many of these uh, reports that you're citing are comparing apples to oranges. Uh, our experts have put out uh, their detailed figures and everything we've seen is within those figures and their contingencies. We now know from the Auditor General that the government was sitting on much higher figures. And although initially he tried not to say that ministers knew the public was misled, today Ferguson made that plain. It's, yes, it's my understanding that the government had that, had that number. That was their internal estimate. The opposition smelled blood. So I would ask the Prime Minister today, will he stand in this House and tell us whether in fact the Cabinet knew what the true costs were going to be for the F-35? But the Prime Minister ignored the question. Once again, of course, Mr. Speaker, the government hasn't actually purchased any airplanes. <laughs> and he kept ignoring it. When did the Prime Minister become aware for the first time that in fact the true cost of the aircraft proposed was $25 billion and not the $16 billion fiction that he's been presenting to the House of Commons for 21 long months. When did it happen? Harper kept on changing the subject. I understand the uh, honourable members the need for attention these days. <laughs> so the question was never answered, although the opposition argues it's no mystery. Now we have clear and convincing evidence that the government intentionally provided false information to Parliament, and that's serious. What could make it even more serious is the fact that so far neither the Prime Minister nor his ministers has even claimed that they did not know about the $25 billion estimate. And so if they hoped that this story might die over the two-week Easter break, it now seems certain to live on, Peter. All right, Terry, thanks very much. Terry Malofsky on Parliament Hill tonight.